Hi everyone, welcome again to another Toon Boom Harmony tutorial. My name is Frank Summers. Uh, these tutorials are being geared towards the Flash animator who is transitioning into Harmony and maybe having some uh, some stumbling blocks. I myself trans uh, switched over to Harmony about three years ago, maybe almost four years ago now, and I can remember a lot of those stumbling blocks very clearly. Um, and one of the big ones for me was the difference between a drawing and a keyframe and they are two very different things and they have two very different functions uh, so just like my previous tutorial about the drawing substitutions I'm just going to use very basic shapes just so we can clearly understand the concepts here and not get hung up in the drawing of things uh, so I made my layer and I have my triangle and I have my square and I have my circle and like, like I said before at any point in time I can just scrub between them and and there they are, they flipped into each other, and that's that's our drawings. Unlike in Flash, a drawing and keyframe are basically the same thing. Um, if you delete a keyframe in, in Flash, your drawing is gone. Um, in here, let's just get rid of these quickly. In here I have my drawing, and I can hit F6, and it will put a little red square down there, a little little keyframe down there. If I also may interrupt myself right now, I'd like to just point out a uh, preference that I think will help flash animators a little bit. If you go to edit and you go to preferences, one thing I can suggest by default if you do a search for insert keyframe keyframe and by default I believe it is control and F6 and what that will do is put a keyframe down as well as duplicate your drawing. So as us as flash animators we're so used to just hitting F6 to put down keyframes in Harmony unless you go into the preferences and change it. Every time you're hitting F6 yeah you're putting a keyframe down but you're also making a duplicate of your drawing. So I suggest just changing it to just straight up F6 just like what we're used to us old flash animator guys. Hit F6 just so we can put a keyframe down. I've already done this. And the only reason I say this is because if, if you, it doesn't matter here, neither here nor there, but if you're a little anal like I am about keeping your library nice and clean, every time you hit F6, you're going to have duplicates of drawings in your drawing substitution library. And, you know, it just adds clutter. So for myself, I like to make it just F6, drops a keyframe down. So there we go, F6, and I have my keyframe, and I can grab my transformation tool, make sure my animate button is on. And I can drag my triangle over there, and I'm going to go to the end of my timeline, hit F6 again, and just move my triangle across. Yes, I could have just moved the triangle, and it will automatically put a keyframe down. However, it is good habit to get into hitting F6 to pop a keyframe down now instead of later, because it, as you get into more complex rigs, uh, it becomes important to kind of control your poses and putting out a keyframe explicitly every time you want to make a move certainly will help that. Anyway, so as you can see we have this animation very simple going from screen left to right and like I said at any point in time in the previous tutorial we can just swap to a new drawing at any point in time and our animation still happens. So you can imagine this as a hand that's attached to an arm and the, uh, while the arm is moving you can swap hands very easily. And I'm going to do a, a tutorial on that later when I get to parenting. But for now, let's just con kind of tackle this concept here. And if we go to the shapes layer that I created, there's a little plus sign down here. And if we hit that, this is similar to After Effects. Each layer has its own uh, positioning keyframes. Each has a, a rotation. Each has its scale on the X and Y and a skew. And these are all independently uh, controlled from each other so that you can at any point in time using our advanced animation tools so rotate I'll just do some rotation and only rotation will happen there and likewise I can just select my rotation keyframe and just hit delete and bam it's gone and it doesn't affect any animation that I may have built up already over t over the course of time so that gives us a lot of flexibility in what we can do uh, I'd like to also point out that when I first started using Harmony, it took me a while to, because I was so used to using the select tool to move my art around in my frame, that if I wanted to animate something, I would use my select tool and start moving 
the artwork around and that is not giving me the desired result I would say hey why did all of a sudden why is everything down here still and all of a sudden the circle jump up there and I was confusing myself and so this is one thing I'd like to just point out before we sign off that there is a difference between the transform tool and the select tool whereas again in flash they're almost kind of the same thing they're almost doing the exact same thing here our select tool is really only going to deal with our our drawings our artwork so it's more of a design tool our transformation tool is almost always going to just be involved with animation actually animating something so in this case it's animating this triangle and all the subsequent shapes across the screen from point A to point B I think one thing I can do is to help illustrate that one in a bit more of a clearer way I'll make a new layer and I'm just gonna call it I don't know try I'll just call it triangle yeah it'd be nice if I knew how to type it right I'm still spelling it wrong. Ooh, tingle. Okay, adding close. So let's just do another triangle. I'll just quickly draw it. Tingle. And what I'm going to do for this, expose it. In this particular case, I'm going to draw a rectangle. I'm going to draw it in red. And I'm going to draw it around the perimeter of and this is just going to give us the sense of like a piece of paper you know just so we know where our edges are right let's just say I wanted to animate this triangle I wanted to move it from screen left to screen right like I did previously I pop down my keyframe I grab my transform tool and I drag it over and as you can see the red triangle is coming along with us right go to the end I'm going to drag it over here the red triangle or the edges of our pieces of paper if you will are moving along with it and there it is it's animating across the screen let's let's undo what I just said what I just did if I'm forgetful like I used to be in the beginning of using harmony and if I think like in flash I can use the select tool to grab this triangle and try and animate it across the screen as you can see the red rectangle which is kind of giving us our frame of reference of where an edge of a piece of paper is so to speak that's not going to there's no animation going on here even if I drop a keyframe down and I think using the select tool I grab my triangle and drag it across and I'm like hey what where's the animation what gives why is there nothing happening because again the black selection tool is dealing with drawings only the transform tool is dealing with the layer, the position keyframes, all of, all of the skew and scale keyframes. That is the difference. I can delete a keyframe without it affecting my drawing. Again, they are two independent things that are separate from each other and can exist separately. And while that may be confusing in the beginning, once you wrap your head around that concept, it opens up a lot of possibility and a lot of flexibility. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. Please come back again. Check me out. I'll have another one up within the week. And take care.